The Islamic State of Afghanistan is a desert landscape sandwiched between Iran in the west, Pakistan to the east and south, and the former Soviet Union to its north. It's an ancient center of romantic and deadly intrigue. Of fiercely proud warriors in nomadic camel trains, whom much of the world had forgotten about until September 11, 2001. The people of Afghanistan were innocent victims of religious fanaticism, the same fanaticism which led to the bombing of the World Trade Center. After the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan in the late 1970s, life for the Afghan people would never be the same again. During that period of Soviet occupation, minefields were laid all over the country. Eventually, the Afghans fought back and they succeeded in expelling the Russians. In the result in Malay, the country was taken over by religious fundamentalists known as the Taliban, who ruled Afghanistan with an iron fist. A rule which ironically ended after the act of terror against the United States by the Taliban's allies, Al-Qaeda. The civil war in Afghanistan may be over, but the war against terror continues. A war against smaller, more insidious weapons. Weapons that lie in wait to kill or maim. The terror doesn't sneak unexpectedly out of the sky as it did for New York, Washington and Pennsylvania on that September 11th, but sneaks indiscriminately out of the ground. These weapons stop small children from playing safely. They prevent older children from going to school. And adults can't safely shop in the marketplace. The war against terror in this country isn't against weapons of mass destruction, but against weapons whose mission it is to destroy the individual. Weapons that lie in wait to kill the unwary, the innocent. And that's where the Dogs of Peace come in. Their mission is to find approximately 10 million landmines scattered throughout Afghanistan. This is the Dog Demining Training Center in Kabul. The training center is on a hill that was once a major battlefield. It took 20 trucks to remove the landmines, exploded and unexploded bombs that were found here. But today it is home to more than 100 dogs, including Jamie, all training to become dogs of peace. At two months old, Jamie has a long road ahead of him if he is to stay on this course. Very good. Very nice. Specialist trainers will teach Jamie the essentials of landmine detection. It will be more than a year before he meets his handler and forms a lifelong bond. A bond like Kerry and his handler Sham Zulak are developing. As unbelievable as it may seem to Western culture, this is the first time in his life that Sham Zulak has had a relationship with a dog. I'm Kabul. I am Shams Ulak. I am 24 years old and okay. I am from Kabul. This My dog is a German shepherd called Kerry. He is a very smart dog and I love him. We are friends and together we are going to make Afghanistan safe for the children. I love you, dog. 
Sham Zulak was a refugee living in Pakistan. He returned to Afghanistan after American troops defeated the Taliban. I'm so pleased to be back in my country and to be working with these fantastic dogs. Taliban's never allowed us to be friends with dogs. It was against their beliefs, but now it is different. And Kerry is my best friend and I love my dog. Another trainee at the dog training center is Rahimullah. I am Rahimullah. I fought with the Mujahideen against the Russians. But when the Taliban took over Afghanistan, I took my family to Pakistan. After September 11, I returned and now I am fighting a new war, a holy jihad against landmines. I have four children still in Pakistan. Soon they will join me here. But first, Anthony and me will clear my country of landmines. Another trainee is Mirawis. I am Mirawis. I am 21 years old. I am very new to this. All my life my country has been at war. I am too young to have fought for my country. But being a landmine dog handler, I can fight in the war against the terror of landmines. I have never met a dog before I came here. I'm still getting to know a lamb, but I think he likes me. I know I like him. I know I trust him. 